Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. Today I'm going to be opening Geek Gear Wizardry's March box for 2019. So uh, they announced in, I think it was January, that they would be changing their packaging, which they have. As you can tell, it's usually, uh, well, in the past it was a yellow box or whatever color your house was. But since I'm Hufflepuff, mine was a yellow box and it also had a tab that you could pull to open it, which uh, everybody really misses that tab. But, you know, uh, apparently they're trying to be more uh, eco-friendly with their packaging. I don't see how the tab really works into that. In my last video for February, I, I kind of mentioned that I didn't like the new packaging because it didn't have any type of uh, hint or implication of what house you're in. And, you know, I understand. I don't mind, um, since it's eco-friendly, obviously, is why they did it. Uh, so I don't really mind the packaging not having the house colors anymore. But hopefully the items are themed or, uh, still around like I'll get Hufflepuff items in this, I hope. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up down below, share it, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. All of these things really do help the channel. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this up. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and pretend to pull the tab that doesn't exist anymore. And then we'll open the box up. Normally there's tissue paper on top so that I can't actually see the items, but there's no tissue paper. But we do have this, and this says it's packed with love and care by David. Thank you, David. Uh, right off the bat, we've got a t-shirt right here. So let's take a look. It's a white shirt. I'm not a big fan of white t-shirts, but let's take a look. Oh, cool. It's a chocolate frog themed sort of, and it has a couple of quills on there. I do like the shirt, but personally, I, I wish it wasn't white, but that's just me. So here's a look at the shirt. It's a very cool shirt. Let's continue. Uh, I've got a lot of packaging worms in here. Here we go, let's just uh, have a look at this. And this is a box, and it says chocolate frog on the top. And here we go, here's a the box that says chocolate frog on it. I'm not quite sure what this is going to be. I like the way the packaging looks. Uh, let's see. Oh, is it a chocolate frog? It is, it is a few chocolate frogs, that's cool. Milk chocolate flavor frog shapes is what it says on the bottom. I like that. That's. Pretty cool, and I will eat one right now just to see how they taste. Hmm, that's pretty good chocolate. Very, very sweet, um, <clears throat> very sugary. I'm used to eating dark chocolate, so milk chocolate's pretty sweet for me. Let's see what else we have. Here's another box. It says pre premium quality wizardry tea strainer. There's the box. And then inside the box we have this little tea strainer. And I do drink tea, so this is going to be pretty useful for me. And it has the Hufflepuff colors in beads right here. And it has an owl. That's so weird because I believe last box they gave us a shirt and it had all the house animals on it, only instead of a badger, there was an owl for Hufflepuff. And now we get this tea strainer and it has uh, yellow and black beads on it for Hufflepuff, but this little charm on the end is an owl. Moving on, we have another box in here and this is, it says magical treats. So this is more edible things little individually packaged uh, lemons, lemon candies. Hmm. Not bad. They don't really have a strong uh, lemon, lemony flavor, but they're good. Okay, and we've got another box in here. Um, this one says magical potted creature on it. 
Oh, it also says some things on the back of it. It says, warning, whenever this plant is unearthed, it screams. So obviously this is a mandrake. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. Pretty excited for this one, really. Oh, hey, cool. A little mandrake. Let's see if it's actually going to scream. No. This is a pretty cool item. Um, this isn't, this, actually, I can tell that this isn't what, uh, the type of things that Geek Air usually sends, ships in their boxes. So this is really cool. I like this. Okay, let's move along. And we have a print, it looks like. Let's see what the print is. Oh, nice. I like this. Very cool. And it has uh, the initials of the artist right there. So this is uh, obviously, as you can see, it's a, a chocolate frog poster. Really cool. There's only a couple of things left in here, it looks like. Uh, what's this? Geek Gear scratch card. Scratch and win. So it's like a lottery ticket almost. I'll scratch this off at the end. Let's see. Um, of course, yeah, there we go. Divination tea. So we have some tea to go along with our tea strainer. Very cool. Let's see what the next thing is. Okay, so the last thing in here is the print. And yes, this is uh, house themed. So I get a badger print. I'm glad this isn't an owl. Um, I really don't understand the owl thing. It says, patience, dedication, and loyalty. So the scratch off is actually 10% uh, off your next renewal, and it comes with a code. So I figured I don't really need this because Geek Gear sends me these boxes to review on my channel. So I'm sure one of you guys who are subscribed to Geek Gear would like the 10% off, so I'll just leave a giveaway link in the description box below. This will just be for like a week, probably. And the winner, I'll just email you the code that's on this and you can get 10% off your box. And yeah, that is it for this unboxing. Now, if I had to pick two items which were my favorite items out of this box, I would say definitely the Mandrake, and then I would also say the, the tea strainer. Um, just because this is a very unique item, uh, I wouldn't see this in any other subscription box, really, which is really neat, but they are kind of switching it up and, and sending things that they normally wouldn't send. And same thing goes for this. Um, these are very unique items, and I'm really happy that they came in this Geek Gear box. So let me know what your favorite items were out of this box. If you'd like to see more Harry Potter related uh, videos, such as more unboxings or primarily DIYs, which is what I do on my channel, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.